Hey what's up, my name is Aaliyah, welcome, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. So today we're going to be doing another thrifting related video. So as some of you may have seen, I recently uploaded a video that was all about my thrifting journey uh, where basically I've been working on thrifting a new wardrobe and I have been doing some more thrifting for fall and getting some pieces off of Depop and Vinted and I wanted to share with you some of the pieces that I've been getting and style them for you guys because I've been getting really into sustainable fashion and clothes again and I'm really interested in uh, you know creating a wardrobe that's just really fun for the fall with lots of like knits and slip dresses and different patterns and stuff so I have a lot of things to show you so without any further ado let's get into the video First off, let's go through some of the wonderful pieces that I recently got. So I've gotten a lot of sweaters and like dresses and skirts and things like that because I am like kind of gearing up for the colder weather and where I live it's really cold. I live in Idaho and so I really need to like find some sweaters and stuff that fit that I really like because I had some last year that were like big chunky like oversized sweater dresses and stuff but they were really ill-fitting and kind of made me like feel weird in my body. So I've been wanting to get some new ones but I also need some stuff for work that's like kind of like semi-professional or things that I can style in a way where I can wear it to the office and like look cute but also be like cozy and warm and just feel like really cute and stuff. Sorry if you hear my cat Rigby, he's uh, running around being a velociraptor at the moment. So let's let's talk about these pieces. So one of the pieces that I got that I'm really excited about is this little orange slip dress number. So it's really cute. It's got this little like flowery pattern on it and it's from Princess Polly, which is more of a fast fashion brand. A lot of this other stuff is more like vintage stuff, but this one is a little bit more modern and it's really, really cute, but it's kind of shorter and it has a little like slit on the side. So I was thinking maybe I could layer this over like a turtleneck and stuff and maybe put like a sweater vest over it or maybe like a big oversized knit sweater over the top to kind of make like a look that I could wear to work where it's not gonna look super skanky but like underneath it will just look like a cute little silk skirt and I also got a couple other silk dresses so I got this brown one and I've been really excited about this because I really wanted something that was like brown silk and it's kind of hard to find brown ones so this one is vintage and it's from Morgan Taylor. And so there's a lot of little slip dresses on Depop that I found that are like this, where they're like kind of short or maybe like midi kind of like shin length. And they're all ones that you can layer really easily. And normally they look almost like lingerie and that kind of thing. But since they're vintage, you know, they're not really what a lot of people would think of as like lingerie now. You know, a lot more lingerie now is like two piece and it's a lot like strappier with little bra tops and underwear and stuff but these are really fun because they're pretty cheap to find and there's a ton of them on the thrifting apps if you're interested and they're really good layering pieces and in that way if you're layering them underneath like big chunky knits you don't get too hot and especially if you can find ones like this where they just have like the spaghetti straps and they have like a little v in the front like you can really easily layer that over like a turtleneck like this or something and it's really really cute and it's really comfortable so you don't like sweat to death in your office but you still feel cute and then i've also been getting some skirts so i got this skirt that is long and it's really really pretty it's got this little like floral detailing on it but i got it because i've been wanting something that's a little bit like stretchier in the waistband that i could wear while i'm like sitting at my desk and stuff that's not too like tight in the tummy so that way if you're like bloated or you know you're in your period or whatever it's not like restrictive but it's still really cute and it's still a really good layering piece and it also has like at the end it's a little bit sheer like the top layer goes a little bit past the liner that's built inside so that's really fun all right part two of the haul <laughs> i also have like an insane knit collection now which is fabulous because i love sweaters and i love being cozy so one of the first ones i got is this giant sweater dress thing and it's really pretty it's got like little stripes but it has little rosettes on it and stuff and it's not embroidered but it has like a really unique knit pattern and I love that that's gonna be great for the winter and I also got some big like oversized chunky knits that I could wear over like skirts and things so I got this big oversized white sweater and I got this kind of like charcoal-y blue almost little knit and I tried to get ones that have like different knit patterns on the front just to like switch it up a little bit 
And then I also got this one that's gold that I thought was really cute. This would be really cute with like some black jeans or something maybe. And then I got this little turtleneck. Very cute. This reminds me of like what my mom wore to like teach first grade in the fall. And I don't know, there's a whole bunch of these. Um, a lot of them are from like Crofton Barrow, I think they're called. That's like the brand name. There's a bunch of these printed turtlenecks on Depop and they're really fun and they're really good layering pieces. And they're just really warm because I always get cold at work, especially when I'm like in the office in the middle of winter because I work in a really old like historic building. And so the windows are super drafty and stuff. So this is gonna be really awesome. And then I also got another little silky like slip number and this one is actually this one's also from Morgan Taylor that's kind of interesting hold on let me fix it so this one is like a champagne color and I love this because it has a little like flower detail and a bow on the front and it's a long skirt so I actually wore this to work today and I just wore it like over a turtleneck with a big like chunky cardigan over the top and it was great and everybody was like oh my gosh your outfit's so cute and I'm like oh my gosh it's vintage lingerie but I'm not gonna tell you that um and maybe that's unprofessional of me but you know what it looks cute as hell and it's very fall themed and I love it so I think it's time for us to style these pieces so let's go try stuff on so the first outfit I want to show you is the one I have on right now. So I just got these jeans and I don't know how I feel about them. I've been wanting some more black jeans, but there's something about this fit that's giving uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, you know, you know what I'm talking about. These jeans with this belt is giving old Dwayne with hair. Ooh, I don't know if I like it or not. I, the thing that's getting me is these cuffs. If you can see that, there's something about having like tapered leg pants that I'm really not used to, but I'm trying it out. I also feel like I look like somebody's like professional grandpa, but I've been really into sweater vests lately, and I also really like layering with the turtleneck, if you couldn't tell. And I think the yellow with the gold is kind of vibe. So this is the first one. I have so many other outfits I wanna show you. So we're just gonna really quick do like a rapid fire little lookbook moment. And I also have some other fall pieces that are still coming in the mail from Depop. So I thrifted some like cherry red Doc Martens and I've been trying to find some of these on like some sort of thrifting store or app or whatever for a long time. And I found some for like 55 bucks the other day and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it because it's almost fall and I wear my black Doc Martens all the time. I thrifted those off of Depop like six months ago and I just love them to death. So I'm gonna incorporate some other pieces in with this little try-on haul lookbook moment. So let's get into the rest of the looks. So this one is a little bit different than what I normally would wear. So normally I'm more of like a crop top, high-waisted pants kind of a person, but I know Kathleen from Kathleen Illustrated always talks about outfit recipes. And she's got like a little mini series on her channel where she makes these outfit recipe videos. And I've watched this a thousand times and one of the outfit recipes I really like from her is the long layer plus a long layer. So since this skirt is so long, I thought it might be fun to wear like a big oversized sweater with it. And so I thought this would be a fun look to try for the fall because I've never really been brave enough to do the long layer plus a long layer like out or like a work or anything. So this is kind of a good example of that. And I always just kind of throw on Doc Martens with skirts, um, but I could also wear tights under this and that might make it a little bit warmer too. So that's kind of a fun look. So this is the little Princess Polly dress and I just put a big knit over it and some little tights and some little Doc Martens. And honestly, I would wear this to work in the fall and I'd probably be super cozy and cute as hell. And honestly, I'm at a point where I'm like, you know, one person's lingerie is another person's business casual, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, this is just a cute little example of like how you can wear a slip, how you can wear a slip dress underneath a big chunky knit and you look really cute and then you just look like you're wearing like a little silk skirt. But one thing you do have to kind of watch for is the slits. Like normally I would never get one with a slit like this, but since it's only on one side, I figured, you know, it's probably okay when your cat wants to play with the bells and you're trying to film. Anyways. Mm -hmm. 